share the Clark County Democrat with a friend. Use coupon code podcast to get the first month for just 99 cents. Fulton Creek flooding case going to trial next week. A suit brought by a group of Fulton homeowners against a Fulton industry may be going to trial in Clark County Circuit Court next week, starting Monday, March 29th. The homeowners are suing Coppers Incorporated, owner of a pole mill on the bank of Bassett's Creek in Fulton, charging that the mill's poles and pilings washed off of the mill's yard during a massive flood in April 2018. The poles and pilings floated down the creek and blocked the water flow under the highway bridge, causing several homes to be flooded, the complaint states. The creek overflowed the night of April 14 to 15, 2018 following 11 to 12 inches of rainfall. The plaintiff homeowners are Philip and Kim Averett, Del Rick Berry, Richard Craig Davis, Lisa and Charles Doby, Joe Anthony Lewis, Tina McDonald Lewis, Helen and Willie McCrand, Jason and Stephanie Noble, Robert Lee and Clara Thomas and Michelle Thompson. The defendants include Coppers Incorporated, owner of the pole mill Coxwood of Alabama and Alan Horton of Ottawa County, environmental manager of Coppers Fulton Pole Yard. The complaint reads, as Bassett's Creek rose, it began to pick up and carry the defendant's poles and or pilings and the defendant's byproducts and or waste products that were recklessly, carelessly, negligently and or wantonly stored in unsecured stacks or piles adjacent to Bassett's Creek. As the defendant's materials were carried downstream by the waters, they became lodged against the Highway 178 bridge in Fulton that crosses over Bassett's Creek. The materials formed a dam or block that obstructed or obscured the natural flow, and as a direct result, waters began to back up and flood the plaintiff's properties located north of Highway 178, until the waters reached a level where they then began to overflow Highway 178, and flood the plaintiff's properties south of Highway 178. The complaint says the homeowners suffered loss or damage of real and personal property, loss of the use and enjoyment of their property, mental anguish and embarrassment, and other losses. The complaint noted that Coppers has taken no preventive actions and are still storing or placing their materials in the manner described above. The complaint alleges negligence and wantonness on behalf of the defendants and seeks compensatory and or punitive damages as a jury deems reasonable. A specific amount of damages sought is not listed in the complaint. An engineering study of Fulton's flooding woes said no one thing caused the flooding, there was no smoking gun, but rather a multitude of contributing factors. The study commissioned by the town of Fulton was presented to Fulton citizens not long before the suit was filed. Dan Grantham, a project engineer with Southern Engineering Solutions of Andalusia, cited the unusual heavy rainfall, clear-cutting and development upsteam and other factors that could have caused the creek to excessively flood. When asked at the public meeting if copper's poles and pilings could have been a factor, Grantham said anything that impedes the flow of water could be a problem but added that there was no way to really answer the question without more study. Because of the large number of plaintiffs, a number of lawyers are involved in the case, including attorneys from the Gilmore Law Firm in Grove Hill, Wyman O., Gil Gilmore Jr., William R., Bo Philippi III and R. Edwin Lamberth. Other area attorneys include Jeff Utsi, Alan Turner and Tatum Turner. Wayman Williams M.C. Craney is the attorney for the defense. Judge Collins Petaway is the trial judge.